What do we want? Yeah! When do we want it? Now! With the 2024 general elections happening on Tuesday, COS President Mark Meckler had this message. Hey everyone, Mark Meckler, President of Convention of States, and now is the time. Time to do what, you ask? Time to get out and vote. And not just vote, but vote your values. Don't vote personality. Don't vote for the candidate that you like or you don't like. Don't vote for the person who's least offensive to you or against the person who's most offensive. Think about what you value and then get out there and vote those values. Look at the candidates and make sure that you get out there and vote for the person that is more closely aligned with sharing those values. It's your turn to vote. Make sure you get out and vote your values. On election night, tune in for a special edition of COS Live, in which Rita Peters and Andrew Lush will welcome Mark Meckler, Michael Ferris, and a dozen or more reporters to comment on the results. The following night, we'll have a new episode of COS at Home to get complete reaction from Rick Santorum, Rita Peters, and Mark Meckler. Go to conventionofstates.com forward slash COS at Home for that program. In addition to checking out our national endorsers, you can now view which organizations have officially lended their support to Convention of States. Last month, COS Minnesota volunteer Jill Gamel and her students made the news as she teaches them how to use the Constitution to keep the Republic. I want them to see how they can make lasting change in their communities by being involved in their constitution, particularly they don't even know about Article 5, which is the citizen route to being involved in their government. So I'm really excited for them to learn it and so they can go out and practice in their state and communities. The Convention of States Virginia team reported recruiting over 1,000 new petition signers to the movement at their state fair. Meanwhile, the Rhode Island team held an educational town hall in West Greenwich, recruiting more than 20 new supporters. And in Indiana, a group of state legislators met with COS co-founder Michael Ferris to discuss possible amendments to its faithful delegate bill. Indiana was the first state to pass such a measure. Finally, here's a montage of snapshots from grassroots events going on around the country, including Nebraska, New Jersey, Nevada, North Carolina, Idaho, Kansas, Kentucky, and Texas. And now, you're up to date with Convention of States. What do we want? Yeah!